S presents students teaching teachers how to name simple binary ionic compounds and simple molecular compounds. Hey Phil, what are you doing? I'm trying to name and write ionic and molecular compounds, but I'm having trouble with it. Here, I can help you. Naming simple binary ionic compounds, for example, aluminum chloride, is equal to Al. C L three. Remember, ionic compounds are metal plus nonmetal. When naming simple binary compounds, the metal always comes first. As well, the ending of the second element, which is the nonmetal, will end in the suffix I D E. Writing the formula of simple ionic compounds. For example, to write the formula as A L C L three, you must know the charge of each element. Aluminum has a charge of positive 3, while chloride has a negative charge. Now we're going to circle each of these charges and crisscross them. And that is how we end up with AlCl3. Now let's practice. Here are a few examples you could try. Here are the answers to see if you got it right. Magnesium has a positive ion charge of 2 and chloride has a negative ion charge. Circle, circle, criss, cross. And you have the formula M G C L two Potassium has a positive charge and chloride has a negative charge. Circle, circle, criss, cross, and your formula is K C L. Naming simple molecular compounds. These are Greek prefixes to name the number of atoms in each element. Mono has one, di has two, tri has three, tetra has four, penta has five, hexa has six, hepta has seven, octa eight, nona nine, and deca ten. For example, we have the molecular compound formula CO. When you name this formula, it will be carbon monoxide. Notice we are working with a non-metal plus a non-metal ions. As well, you see, it isn't called monocarbon monoxide because it is only needed when we get to more than one atom in the first element, we use the prefixes. Writing formulas for simple molecular compounds. For example, carbon dioxide is equal to CO2. This is because it has a prefix di in front of oxide. Now let's practice. Here are a few examples you could try. Here are the answers to see if you got it right. Carbon tetraiodide would be written as Ci4 and dinitrogen monoxide would be written as N2O. Do you know how to do it now? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You're welcome.